superfoods can make cancer more likely, says DNA Pioneer. That's the headline that's been floating around on the internet and many newspapers the last couple of days. Well, the DNA pioneer that they are referring to is Dr. James Watson, who back in 1953, together with colleague Francis Crick, published a seminal paper on the study of DNA and its molecular structure, and thereby laid the foundation for molecular biology and modern genetics. Well, since the 1990s, Dr. Watson has been interested in cancer, and now has come out with a paper that has caught the imagination of the press and of the public. And in this paper, published in a, a very, very respectable journal called Open Biology, he bemoans the fact that cancer treatment has not progressed the way he thinks that it should have. And he has an explanation for this. It turns out that chemotherapy and radiation work by encouraging the formation of very, very reactive species called free radicals. And these free radicals then destroy cancer cells. Well, it turns out that if someone is taking antioxidants at the same time that they're undergoing chemotherapy or radiation, the antioxidants can actually undermine the effect of the treatment. This is what he was talking about and suggesting that it is not a good idea to take such supplements. He was not talking about eating blueberries. He was not talking about eating broccoli. That is a misinterpretation. Nobody's suggesting that those foods are unhealthy. But what Dr. Watson has said is that when someone is undergoing chemotherapy, they should avoid antioxidants, and perhaps what we should be talking about are anti-antioxidants. And who would have ever thought that that expression, anti-antioxidant, would ever come up in the treatment of cancer? Mm -hmm.